Thank you. Thank you very much. It's very lovely to be here. Thank you for having me. Uh, my name's Stuart. I am in my late 30s, which means that everyone I know is running a marathon. <laughs> but uh, don't worry, they're not keeping that to themselves. <laughs> they are continually updating me across all social media because it's very important that they tell me how much they're challenging themselves. That's the key thing. They're like, I just wanted to challenge myself. Just wasn't challenging myself enough. I just wanted to challenge... My friend Hazel genuinely said this to me earlier this year. She said, yeah, I'm, I'm running a marathon this year. What are you doing to challenge yourself? I thought, I don't know, trying to stay friends with you? <laughs> if you really want to push yourself, Hazel, why don't you try training in secret? That'd be quite tough, wouldn't it? I don't mind. I don't mind if you exercise. I'm fine with that. But when people exercise in public, I resent that because it's like they're just trying to jam your face into it. Go, look at me exercising. Like, if you live in a city, you'll know... Uh, you probably know someone that runs to work. That upsets me. I don't like that. <laughs> You're, you're walking to your occupation at 8 o'clock in the morning going, God, I hate my occupation. I didn't know I wish I didn't do it. And then all of a sudden, woof, this breath of air goes past you like the flash. And then some idiot dressed head to toe in lycra. <laughs> like a ninja eel. Like a, like a cyclist, but with no bike. Just the, ooh, just the gear. <laughs> and, and they're all using... Oh, these days, everyone uses an app called Map My Run, which, frankly, should be... It makes people angry, doesn't it? It should be called Smug My Calories. It should be called... <laughs> Gloat my progress. What it does is it, it uploads uh, a map of your route to your Facebook page so that your friends can go, why have you put that on your Facebook page? <laughs> so that you can go, oh, God, does that go on Facebook? I had no idea. I didn't realise. I thought it was just for me. They were just private. That's something so embarrassing. I thought it was actually secret. I thought it was etched onto stone tablets and thrown into the ocean. It's so embarrassing as well. <laughs> Other people, they run at lunch, which infuriates me. If you run to work, fine, it's A to B. If you run at lunch, it's just A to A. It's just A. I'll see you guys back here at A. OK, bye, bye. I'll, just, I'll be back at A in five minutes. Floss, floss, floss. Refuse donut. I don't like it. <laughs> and I, I, do, I do exercise myself, but I exercise regularly, but not frequently. That's my thing. I do two days on, six months off. That's the system. <laughs> And the problem is, I can do the first 10 minutes. I can run for 10 minutes, I can do it. I go, yeah, yeah, I, can. I don't know why I didn't do this every day. This is easy, I'm gonna do this forever, it's gonna be fine. And then around about the 11th minute, I start bargaining with myself. But the problem is, the voice that I'm bargaining with, they're not some sergeant major that wants me to succeed. It's just me. So I'm going, I was gonna do 10 laps at the park, but maybe I'll just do six. And my conscience goes, yeah, fine. <laughs> Go, oh, really, you don't think I should do more than that? God, no, I, I don't want to be here either. Let's, <laughs> let's just pack it in and go home. Oh, oh well, maybe, maybe I'll just do three laps. Just do one or none. I literally don't care. <laughs> or maybe I'll just... Maybe I'll stop and get some water. Pint. And then ten minutes later, <laughs> me and my conscience are sat in a pub going, we smashed that. Yes, we did. <laughs> you realise we'll get fat? Plenty of happy fat people. They are happy. They do seem... They do seem happy. Um, I'm not, I don't know if I'm too worried about longevity. I've got, uh, I've got a brilliant grandmother. She's called Vera. You'd love my granny. She's 98. She's made of leather and cannot be killed. <laughs> and she's not, she's not even really called Vera. We just call her that because she can't walk in a straight line. Um, <laughs> take your time. Um, it's, a good, it's a good joke, but I grant you it's tinged with tragedy. Now, the thing is, she's Scottish as well, so her whole attitude... Her real name's Joyce. Her whole attitude to life is, I'm no gonna die. It's no for me. I'm no gonna die. They gave her a pacemaker, it died first. True story. <laughs> they put a little metal pellet in her heart to stimulate it to beat, and her little heart went, I'll no be dictated to. I'll do 30 beats in a minute if I want, then nothing for an hour, pal. <laughs> now, it's, it's, it's very sad. She's got cancer. Bless her, of course she has. She's 98. She's got cancer, inoperable, incurable. But she's so old that the cells in her body are no longer expanding or growing or replicating in any way. So she reckons that from cancer's point of view, it's trapped in an old woman. <laughs> How good is that? How triumphant is that? <laughs> Normally, when you hear people are battling cancer, it means chemotherapy, radiotherapy. She is tackling it to the floor and sitting on its head. And I think she's been stalking it as well, because she's Scottish. She's like, uh, I have been waiting for you. I've had any fruit and veg for 90 years. <laughs> and the, the way... I'll just tell you this before I go. The, the way... Uh, my dad deals with it. It's very beautiful. It's lovely. He sees her and he, he comes back to me, my brother and my sister. He says, listen, if I ever get like that, just promise me you'll unplug me. <laughs> She's not plugged into anything. He goes, <laughs> promise me you'll unplug me. And uh, I think what he's trying to say is, I think we should kill her who's up for it. 
listen, listen, I, I, I must just tell you, I wrote those jokes about my granny about 18 months ago, and I've really enjoyed telling them all over the world since then, but I want to dedicate my set tonight to the memory of Joyce Goldsmith. Thank you, thank you. Um, I'd like to, no, I'd like to, but she will not die. So I welcome you. Thanks a lot.